Digital oral histories can yield large and complex data files, and oral historians and archivists must take digital preservation seriously. We know now that digital data corrupts and bits can rot under the best preservation conditions. Digital continuity is dependent on many variables. Fixity, or the assurance of future data file integrity, is essential. We often do not know a file has corrupted until it's too late. Merely depending on a backup can be a flawed strategy when your backup system has unknowingly backed up a corrupt file. You can create an initial reference point to measure future data file integrity with a simple measurement called a checksum. A checksum is a baseline measurement of data fixity and a confirmation of that file's integrity. A checksum is represented by an alphanumeric string that only changes if some element associated with the file changes. If one bit changes, the checksum will be different. There are several different algorithms for creating a checksum. The types of checksums we use at the Nunn Center are the MD5 and the SHA checksum. If you don't have a big staff or programmers awaiting your command, there are several free and inexpensive tools available to create a checksum. For Macintosh computers, I prefer a program called MD5 or File Hasher, and if you use a PC, I recommend FastSum. All of these are under $20. Whichever you use, the checksum should be captured as early as possible in the accession process, and it should be verified after each migration. The checksum is easy to create with some of these tools. Simply drag the file into the checksum generator. It can then be pasted back into the checksum tool to compare two files. The checksum is then ingested into our archival collection management database, classified as technical or preservation metadata, which serves as a reference point for all future checks of file integrity. The checksum does not prevent file corruption, but it can be a powerful tool that can help ensure that your digital oral history interview will still be accessible for decades to come.